No estamos escondidos. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go see Wakanda Forever in a couple of hours and I thought it was important to shine light on just how significant this movie is, at least for me, a brown Mexican skinned man. Now I know this film has been talking about a lot since the first teaser was released back in July and rightfully so as it's a major staple for Mexicans and indigenous people everywhere, especially in Mesoamerica. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Wakanda Forever is the sequel to the Black Panther released in 2018 and this film is showcasing Namor the Atlantean ruler in the Marvel Universe. It's normally a big deal to release major characters like this, especially like the ones that are going to have a lot of screen time. But this one was a bit different. You see, the first time we heard that it wasn't just a regular Atlantean, they gave us details. And the actor who was going to be playing Namor was none other than uh, Tenoch Huerta. And although some media outlets in the States were treating him like he was kind of a new actor or a new talent on the field, Latinos knew otherwise as he's a phenomenal star in Latin cinema. You know, it was a pre it was a pleasant surprise finding out that he was playing this character, you know, because for the first time ever on the big screen, at least for me, I saw someone with the same or darker complexion skinned coming from the same ethnicity or nationality as as me as a Mexican and that was amazing that was just euphoric and from the major roles that I've seen him in like Sin Nombre, Güeros and his Hollywood counterparts like Narcos Mexico and like The Forever Purge as a B-list movie um, he was a phenomenal choice and to add to this new character design he got a brand new redesign for Atlantis and Amor you know, it was told to us during one of the panels that elements of like Mesoamerica indigenous origins, so specifically Mayans, I believe, were going to be added to the characters, you know, and that's badass. The reveal later on in the trailer, just wow. The amount of awe and seeing my people and the elements kind of be shown on the big screen, not just have a play by him. That's that's fucking cool, you know? And if you watch the trailer and don't think that's cool, I don't know what your definition of cool is. Who are you? I have many names. My people call me Ahkukunkan. But my enemies call me Namor. If you're wondering why that's so important, it's because the first time a live action superhero in Hollywood has been a Mexican character played by a Mexican actor. It's a pretty big deal if you ask me. I know we have Robbie Reyes played by Gabriel Luna in Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, and Luis played by Michael Peña in Ant-Man. But for Robbie Reyes, his character hasn't been portrayed on the big screen yet. And you know, you have to be involved for like the MCU stuff to actually go see Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. And not a lot of people go uh, and watch the TV shows, you know, unless you're a fan. And that's the same thing for me. I'm not really a fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and specifically just TV shows as a whole for superheroes unless they're actually good. And I, I hate to out myself as not supporting the homie Gabriel Luna. That's kind of like a thing of like, I'm not really an MCU fan. I'm DC. And for Luis, I love his character and how he just jokes around and is kind of unhinged. And we have the same name, you know, so that's relatability right there. But for me, it kind of feels like the MCU uses him as an, a way to just joke around and kind of put out stereotypes for, um, at least for this case, West Coast uh, Mexican uh, people. And it kind of sucks because that's kind of like the token Mexican, you know, used for funny jokes as a supporting character. I love, again, I love, love Michael Peña, but not really the same thing as like him being in the forefront, being Mexican as a Mexican character. I know we also have Latino characters show up in other films like Miles Morales, Miguel O'Hara, America Chavez, and so forth. And they're played by Latinos, but the thing is, they're not Mexican, at least the actors. Aside from America Chavez, who is an, uh, a Mexican-American actress, she plays a, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Puerto Rican hero. Same with Miguel O'Hara. That is a Mexican character, but is played by Oscar Isaac, who is, um, if I'm not mistaken... South American descent could be wrong, <laughs> but aside from that, those are the main things why this is so important, you know. Now, if you excuse me, I'll continue this conversation, but first, I have to go drive to my friend's house before we go see the film.
Que we. Oh, why is it open? That's. So going based on what I said, you can see why it's such a big deal for the film to come out and be played by this beautiful brown Mexican man. You got anything you want to say? Go ahead. You already know we're coming to the, to, to the screening, correct? We bring the, what's it called, Sabrita, straight from Mexico. You know? We nah, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's important, you know, what's it called? We never get to see people who actually look like their indigenous counterparts. And we finally have a man who looks and he's probably is indigenous and it's great you know this is yeah. this is our little you know warm up and we we you know we have like Lubito to, to what's it called look forward to we have all these things and you know mostly what I think what I'm thinking about when I'm going to see this movie is that this is this is mostly you know for the kids this is this is what the kids are going to grow up on and this is what they're going to see so you know, it's important you know they don't they don't get to see this much and yeah yeah, kids Denotch darker is, than me. Denotch is a great actor. You've seen it, so oh, he's not just yeah. only he's not just only right for the job, but he does play well for the character that he's going to be playing. So, excited. fuck yeah, three hours worth of this shit. Yep. We're gonna enjoy that. Just came back from watching the film like a couple hours ago. Aside from just hanging out with the guys. Um, and I realized while I was editing this video that Raul was out of focus and that's my bad. I just kind of let him talk about what he thought about this whole ordeal and how important it is. And I just let his little man, his little heart, just pour out his feelings on the topic. But if you still don't understand the point that I'm trying to make with making this video, because I know I talk a lot and I kind of get rambling and, you know, that can be confusing. The point I'm trying to make is that having that Mayan slash indigenous character be played by a mexican man of darker complexion a lot of us fucking finally have someone to kind of look up to um especially like seeing someone on the big screen it's opened up a door for future mexican characters to be played by mexican actors that are also darker complexion and that's fucking awesome you know not to mention having blue beetle come up in like the next year or so it's just cool to be mexican today and to be in uh like mesoamerican indigenous and it's it's just a wonderful day for that. And after watching the film, holy shit, guys. No spoilers, but it's definitely worth the watch. I know everyone's going to go see it anyways, but I think it's hopeful for a better change in the industry. And I hope to be a part of that as a brown-skinned Mexican man trying to direct and trying to create and trying to filmmake. It's just very hopeful to see in the future. What did you guys think? It was good. It was all right. <laughs> all right, you white colonizer. <laughs>